What is up guys, my name is D.A. Ripa, and welcome back to another deck tutorial. This time, we are going to be playing Strife Coast 33 win deck. And without further ado, here we go with our first match. Alright, this is against a uh, rogue. I believe it is a favorite match for me. But we would like to get our shielded mini bots. And, um, I think that's pretty much it that we are going for. Just all of our early game. I might want to keep Q Super Champion because it is just that good. Alright. This is not the, f like, the net deck because I did throw in a Ysera in here. Because I found out that it just does not do that much against control decks. So we're just going to pass here. We have both equalities, which is kind of bad. And next turn, we might just hero power, and he might just dagger up. Hello. Well met. Hello. So it is a mech. It's a mech rogue. Huh. So next turn, I'll choose whoever champion. Whatever he fills out. And if it's not that, doesn't apply that much pressure, then I'm just gonna choose over this mech warper. Huh. Interesting. Um. I really don't want to give this thing value by hitting it twice, making it a 2-8 instead of a 2-5 like it normally should be. But I think I might have to. And then next turn we can just hope for a consecration. But sometimes we're just going to have to give that value. I might play a big game hunter because chances are that he does not run anything that's 7 or higher attack. Unless one of these come out and it buffs this like 3 times. Ah, oh, that's so going to get so much value. That's pretty bad. We did get a consecration though. It's pretty good. And I think I will use it. Because this thing is really annoying, guys. It gives a random mech plus two, plus two, which is pretty OP. I hope we draw our muster for battle, as it does gain us a lot of board control and that one four weapon. Perdition's Blade. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Um. I'm just gonna choose over that again. I do have to keep in mind on my life. Because it is kind of getting pretty low. And rogues definitely have the potential to do 20 damage in one turn. I was thinking of playing this piloted shredder, but I'm thinking that he has another mech that buffs, that could have buffed that barber, um, the goblin auto barber. So from here I guess we'll just play piloted shredder and guy, I believe that's the play. And we're gonna, we're gonna save the the durability on this one on this true silver because if you're to attack face and he plays down like I don't know like a 4-4 or a 3-4 then you wouldn't be able to attack it you wouldn't be able to get some board clear 
Yeah, this is what I mean by um, rogues having a lot of card draw or um, burst potential for damage. Um, you know what? I actually might equality consecrate. I think that's way better. And if he has, if he has the eviscerate, then there's pretty much nothing that we could have done. Yeah, there's nothing we could do if he has the eviscerate. So next turn, I will play lay on hands, and it seems like he does have the uh that too. Well. That's pretty unfortunate. He has more of an aggro. I think it was that nullifier, the 2 5 taunt, is what cost us the game. Just by him getting so much value out of that. Well, it's alright, it's only one loss. And I guess we'll go into game number two. Alright, so this is against the Hunter. And I believe it is a favorite matchup for me. <laughs> Depending on his deck, if it's like an aggro, then I believe it is favored for him. Um, we're not gonna keep any of these. We're just gonna look for our muster for battle, and we're gonna look for a shield and mini bot. And I believe this deck does run a zombie chow, so we're just gonna confirm. Nice. So we did get our muster for battle. Next time we'll just guy, and on turn three we'll muster for battle. Yeah, no play. Interesting. It's either that he has a really bad hand as an aggro, or he's a mid range hunter. It seems like he's more of the mid range hunter. Hmm. I guess we'll muster for battle. Um, should we clear this thing? No, that's gonna get way too much value. So we're just gonna. For justice. I'm gonna hit this so that when he runs it into here, he can't attack with the one ones that spawn, and that way I can get rid of one of them too. So I am going to. I wouldn't consecrate here because th with this mad scientist, he could play his um, his explosive trap, and that would not be good. But it does give me board control. Me hmm. But I'm just thinking that what if we draw a quartermaster, and that would be pretty sick if we trade all into here. And then play a consecrate. Nah, I think I'll just do this first. Okay. Looks like it is snake trap. And I'm just gonna consecrate that. And I'm just gonna hit him in the face. not looking too bad for us. He did get the Huffer though. It's pretty bad. Um, not sure what this is. Oh, okay. Well, I am gonna play this Elder Peacekeeper and then Guy. Or I might silence this because I really can't think of any other tar targets to silence. Besides high main, I think this is good enough. And he spent the coin anyway, so he can't high main next turn. So he do that does leave us a couple of card draws to draw another silence or an owl door. I think I will silence that loot hoarder. As it doesn't gain him any more card draw. 
And next turn we'll just load that. And we're gonna scorch him. Hmm. So he is more the control. Interesting. Um, I think I'll. Hmm. I can't see a reason why. Why he would play like a kill command, which is basically his only spell in there. Kill command. Um, he probably runs a multi shot. Maybe. So I'm just gonna sludge Belcher. And I'll save this one one charge. Hmm. He trades into it. Is he gonna trade with the bow, maybe? That'd be pretty interesting. So what I do plan to do right now is, I think I'll attack his face. Well, hold on, let me think about this, guys. Because if we threw our 1-1 one, one into this 1-1, one, one, using our 1-1 one, one charge, it might activate the snake trap, and then we can consecrate, but I'm not sure if that's the best use of consecrate. I think it is, because he only has two cards left. So I think we'll do that then. Justice. So uh, it's most likely freezing trap. And we're just gonna die here. Because if we were to just freezing attack, he would just freezing trap it, and then we won't have a ton anymore. And he will gain another charge off of this Eagle Horn Bow. Very interesting. He decides to use a charge. Interesting. Um. I guess we'll just pilot shredder guy. Get some board control. Yeah, and it just gets freezing trap, and it's no big deal. Because we do have Ysera. Ysera is a great card, because it has 12 health, and 4 attack. And, I don't think any other, um... Huh. Hmm. And I don't think any other minion besides Hymane has more than 4 health. Very interesting display. I would like to... I'd like to say this Equality Consecrate, but this Hymane is just way too much. So what I think I will do I think I'll let me attack hmm. Hmm. okay if I attack this and if it's a um if it's a snake trap then I'm definitely gonna consecrate so it's a freezing So I guess we'll just equality consecrate, or we could go for board control and play like a uh, Isera, which I think I will do. He's out. He's out of breathing traps, so it's gonna be really difficult for him to. And we got a nightmare. Okay, this is why we kept Equality Consecrate, because we might get wrecked like this. So thank goodness for Equality Consecrate. 
I'm just trying to think of any other way that so I can clear this the two twos that spawn from the high main and I don't think that there is an impossible way mm. by me hitting him that's just way that's just too risky what I could do is hit with the Ysera which I think I will do and then consecrate And I will knife juggler and guy. I decided to get rid of the Ysero because I did not want him to have any more beasts on the board. And if he had more beasts, he probably has a kill command. Yeah, see, if he has a kill command in his hand, he probably could have drawn lethal. Okay. That is probably freeze or um snake, most likely. Um if I attack with this and we left at seven health and I believe um any beast will kill him will kill me. So I'm going to attack with this Finkelhorn. Yeah, it is snake. Okay. For justice. Quite unfortunate that we didn't get a knife. Maybe I should have played Pilot to Treader, which would have been way better actually. Would have better use of my mana. That's kind of a mistake on my part. So I am just going to keep on hitting so I can gain more health. Hmm. And I'll play Dr. Boom. Do we have lethal? 5, 8, 12. Wow. We do have lethal, guys. <laughs> Amazing. And that is game number 2. <laughs> oh my goodness. I bet you he had... I bet you he had the kill command in his hand. That's probably the last card. So guys, um, we're going to go into game number 3. Alright guys, so we're playing against a priest, and usually Paladin versus Priest matchups are really, really long. So, um, if you guys want to grab some food, some drinks, <laughs> just anything to just keep you awake during this matchup, that would be pretty good for you. But hopefully, that me having the two drops will speed up the game just a little bit. So we threw away the the pirate shredder Job done. because once again we want to play on turn four. But we keep we keep true silver champion because sure it's a four four mana, but you can also just hit directly. It's pretty much a a four um, attack charge. So I am gonna knife juggle here. Next turn, I'll just muster for battle. And then I'll hit with the weapon because most likely I'll play two silver champion next turn. When he has like dark cultist. So he has a pretty bad hand. He doesn't have zombie chow, nor does he have a Northshire cleric. Uh, is this a circle of healing? Yes, it is. Well, what we are going to do, because he spent the coin already, 
We're just gonna muster for battle. Um, okay. He's sitting on zero mana. There you go. Um, yeah, we're just gonna muster for battle. If all knights were to hit this, and. Okay. That would be pretty good. Because then we could just clear it. But since it didn't, we can't. So we're just gonna attack base. Would it make sense just to hit the 3 2 into, um,. The blade master. I see. We'll just heal the damage back up. He has a thought steal, which is pretty bad. As I have all my legendaries still in this deck. That's the only thing about priest being matched up against priest is when they have thought steal. Because if you don't have all your legendaries in the deck, chances are they got your legendaries, and that is really really bad. That's two extra legendaries for three mana. But he is gonna allow me to to kill this off. And we did not get the knife. That's alright. Wow, he got my consecration. That's really bad, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, yep, we're just gonna muster for battle. I don't care if we get Holy Nova. Kind of do. Pretty sad. Um, we decided not to hit because, really, this Light Justice doesn't matter as much as charges wise. And the top deck Holy Nova, wow. Okay, this guy, we have a game here, guys. This guy's really lucky. We're just gonna save the charge, honestly. This guy is really lucky, guys. And when you have luck in Hearthstone, you are pretty much a god. It will win you games. Well, I'll just say that much. So, we did, he had an answer to both of our muster for battles, but if you just keep guying up, we'll pretty much have basically a muster for battle. Or, huh, I think I'll just hit and consecrate. Yeah. Just consecrate here. Those are two highly tar um, highly valued targets. As the Pyromancer does get rid of my 1 1s, and this Arcanine Soul Priest it gains him the hero ability to just do 2 damage. Um, what is this? Shadow Word Pain? That's the only thing I can think of. I'm thinking that that is Shadow Word Pain, or it is Holy Smite. Or talking I Okay. Um in this situation guys, I would rather have card draw. I have a card advantage over him rather than um quarter mastering and guy. Because that gets me a two five and a three three, which he can just kill the two five for free and heal up at the same time. And I'll be stuck with the 3-3. Three, three. So I will just lay on hands. Guys, it's alright if you just waste some healing. Because um, pretty much in this matchup, you'd want to just kill him fast. Because he is re his heal power is great for fatigue. So is mine too. For justice. But I just like to get the card advantage more. Having card advantage... Will, ha will make you have more answers to whatever your opponent plays on the board. The stand ready. See like this? I drew a, a Consecrate. 
next turn, the if I didn't lay on hands last turn, I wouldn't be able to quality consecrate. But I think I'll just use Sarah. And um. You say Sankey Pai because he has the combo for um, Sylvanas and... Oh wow, that's the second card he got. Okay. Okay, this is where um, Equality Consecrate is really good. Wow. So he got my Elder Peacekeeper and the Consecrate. So we're just gonna need quality and consecrate. This is just a huge advantage for me. That must make him pretty sad. Cause that pretty much did for six mana deal four, nine, um twelve. Plus the user twenty-four damage. Too bad he couldn't play one more, one more guy. Um, so I am gonna play the Sludge Belcher first, and then Alder Peacekeeper, his Blade Master, and then silence, um, silence this North Shard Cleric so that he doesn't get. More card draw, allowing me to play down minions without him having answers to him. And I'm thinking if I should nightmare, and I really think I should, but I think I'll just lay off of it for a while. I don't think it's necessary to get rid of this 3 5 instantly. If he plays one more minion though, we, we could mind control. And Z Tech. So he did have a second one. Kind of unfortunate, but it's alright. Does he have the circle though? The circle of healing. Which I hope he does not have. Okay, he doesn't. Great. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get some insane value. Um. So first, hmm. Hold on, actually. So we're just gonna MC Tech. Nice. And uh, that's that's all right. As Holy Nova does, just destroy this board. So I'm just going to um, try to release on the pressure on here. So before I attack the Dark Cultist, because it does have a death battle, give a random min minion 3 health, I am just going to uh, clear his his other minions first, so that his death rattle does not um, affect the other minions. And it doesn't really matter how I trade here. And we'll just end our turn. You guys may be hearing this, um, the saying one equals two for priest. It's, bec it's because, wow. Um, and that is because priest has a lot of, a lot of cards that deal only two damage. Like Holy Nova or, um, or Holy Smite. Or they could have Akanite and then they only have a two attack for um, from their hero power. Like There's a Naru. In the light's name. 
he has one more spell, that'll be pretty bad. Um, that was pretty bad for him to land on the Naru. Because it only destroyed... It only destroyed my guy and a 1-2 taunt. Or 1-1 one, one taunt. Yet it allowed me the availability to clear his whole board, which is really, really bad for him. So we're just gonna trade everything. Uh, um, maybe Rag is better. Yeah. Rag is better because I like staying on curve. Curve is where you actually efficiently use all your mana. Sure, he might Shadow Ward Death, but I got a Dr. Boom. No biggie. I have no time for games. And we're just gonna Nightmare that. Um... Wait, wait, how does this work? Does he get to use that 6-1? Or... I, I'm really... I don't think he gets to use that 6-1. And I am gonna play... Hmm. I'm gonna start building up guys. Yeah, he does die. Okay, good. Um, so I decided to guy instead of doing the shielded mini bot because a guy does get me a 3-3 three, three whenever I play this quartermaster. This is extreme value. Hopefully one of these bots hit this guy and does not. But... All right, guys, that is game number three. It didn't turn out to be that that long. I believe it only went for like 20 turns. And I think we'll do one more game. All right, guys, this is against a Warlock. Um, it's It all depends if the matchup is favored or not. Because if he's a zoo, then I don't think this deck can catch up. Or I can stay at the same pace by putting out the same amount of minions and taking board control. So what I am going to do is maybe I'm going to actually keep this big game hunter just in case he is handlock. But I have not seen that much handlocks out there. On that or so. Alright. If you get a shielded minibot... That would be just great. This Iron Peak Owl is actually really good too. As it does counter the um, Twilight Drake. And he is Handlock. Nice. If you get our Equality Consecrate combo, that would be really great for us. Or he's just a zoo? I'm really not sure, guys. I'm really n I'm not sure. So I'm just going to muster for battle. Because if he has an activator for this, and I've also played shoot a minibot, the shoot a minibot has enough attack to um, to activate this Nerubian Egg's death rattle, which is summon a 4-4, four four, which is pretty bad for me. It's a, it's a great um, death rattle, only if you have an activator for it. Like an abusive sergeant or a dark iron dwarf. Or maybe a sun cleric. Just anything that gives this thing the ability to attack. Huh. Wow. So I am just going to choose over that. Because next turn I can quartermaster. And I don't want to trade um, two guys. To battle.
He's probably gonna Hellfire here. Which is what I predict that he will do. If he doesn't, then it's pretty good. I'm really I'm not sure what this deck is. Because he has an Earthen Ring Farseer, which is Handlock. But he has this egg, which is. What I might do is just silence that, honestly. Should I? Nah. <laughs> I want to get so much value out of this. Alright. So, 3-3 three, three into 1-2. 3-3 three, three into 2-3. My weapon into this 4-4. Four, four, and we're just going to hit him. If he had the, um... If he had the Hellfire, he would have played it last turn. It would have been better. But him playing this Argus means that he is in des desperate um, attempt to take board control. He has 7 cards in his hand, which means I believe that Mountain Giant is... Is that 5 mana? No, it's at 6. Um... I really want a knife juggler here. Hmm. I'll trade this three. Oh wait. Yeah, I'll trade the three one into the three three. And I think I will play Shield and Mini Bot Knife Juggler or Knife Juggler Shield and Mini Bot and Guy. The only thing about that play is that I kind of get wrecked by um, Hellfire, but he just does not have it. So I'm just gonna take advantage of it, of the fact that he does not have Hellfire. And as long as we keep board control, guys, um, he doesn't have a minion on the board on his side of the board to Shadow Flame. And if you guys don't know what that card is, Shadow Flame is where you destroy your own minion. But you deal its attack to all your other opponent's minions. Um, is that a top deck? Hellfire? He would have played it instantly. Kind of hesitating. I'm not sure why. Huh. So he still does not have a Hellfire. Or unless he, draw, he has a Shadow Flame right now. Yeah, there you go, guys. That's the card right there that I was just talking about. It doesn't wreck me too hard. Hmm. Am I anti kill bot? Maybe. Yeah, I'm just anti kill bot. Just to keep applying pressure. And I do want to uh, want you guys to. Um, keep note whenever you're playing against a handlock of his life total as if it does reach 10 he has free mountain giants and if you guys don't know what mountain giants are they cost one less for every single damage that your hero has taken and they cost 20 so basically if they're at if the handlock is at 20 health the mountain giant will cost 10 all the way down to zero when he's below when he's equal than or less than um 10 health. <laughs> that is something. Wow. Um. I've got the beast in my sights. I will actually do this first. Wow. So we do have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. If he was to tap, I'll be pretty fine with that. Because now we do ha definitely have some answers to like um, a Molten Giant or a Mountain Giant. But we don't have our Consecrate, unfortunately. I'm hoping to draw it. It's a 1 out of 9 chance. 9 point something. I think 9.5.
and I'm too lazy to calculate that percentage. Hmm. I wonder. My eyes. He still does not have any giants, which is really weird. Okay, so I think I might just go face here, because if he had Hellfire, he still does not Hellfire. Um, so on the board right now, we do represent 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 15, but he can get rid of um, two, min two of these 4 attack minions. Which will make me at two, four, five, six, seven. So if I was to hit him down for ten right now, which I can't, I think I'll just push for damage. Um, I don't think it matters right now for his life total. If he has Hellfire, then that's pretty much alright. Or a Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame would be really bad, actually. And it looks like he does have the Shadow Flame, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Um, well, it's not expecting. Well, I'm not I've been running this card lately. So if I equality, I put one into here and I have two, four, six, way more than enough. So, yep, that is game number three, guys. With Shive Cole's 33 win deck. So, as you guys can see, I went two, two out of three wins. Which is actually pretty good for this deck. That means that this deck is actually really stable. And it keeps board control while applying pressure at the same time. So guys, that was going to be the end of the video. If you guys want to leave a comment below, just feel free to do so. Like and subscribe. And you guys put in the comments below what deck you would like me to see play next. Um, I was actually kind of thinking of a free to play deck. Because um, I've had a, a lot of people um, been saying that. Hearthstone is kind of pay to win as you do need legendaries in every single deck when you actually really do not need any legendaries um, It is possible to reach legend um, legend rank when um, We're just not paying a single penny, you know um, So I think I am gonna do a free-to-play deck next video so I hope you guys like the video and um, Yeah See you guys later.